Hello everybody, this is Louis and let's talk C Sharp. So now we have just created our first project and you can see that some lines of code are already in here. Um, so you can see that we have something called a namespace, which is called in this case, hello world. We have a class program. We have something saying static void main uh, string and then these things in here are, I, I don't know what those things mean, but we're going to talk about that. So don't worry about this. For now, all you need to know is that when you create a new C Sharp project, a console application, these are the lines of code that you're going to see. And you can actually see that there's already on line six. Well, for me, it's line six it depends on, on how your code is formatted. May, maybe a little different, but you will have this console dot right line. Hello world. Um, and that's your very first line of code. Um, so what you have to know is that you see these curly braces here, this one that opens here and closes here. So I'm going to say this because this is very important. Okay. Here is where the magic happens. Okay. What I mean by that is that all your C sharp code must always go inside these two curly braces here. You can think of them as your innermost curly braces, at least when you create your new project. Okay. Uh, so this is where the magic happens. And whenever you're working on a new project, there is where your code should go. This is very important. Okay. So the purpose of this video is to, to help you guys create your very first C sharp application. And, uh, the only thing it's supposed to do is say, hello world, right? So how do we do that? Well, this time visual studio was actually kind enough to give us all the code. So if we run that, how do you, how do you run this? Uh, there are a couple of different ways. The way I like to run my projects and I recommend you do the same is press control and F five on windows. Okay. On Mac, not sure what the shortcut is. Uh, maybe it's uh, command enter. I don't know. Um, anyway, if you're using windows, I think most of you will be using windows. Uh, just do a control and F five. And if you do that, visual studio will compile your application and run it for you. So that's what I get. Look at that. I get a beautiful console. And it says hello world. That's amazing. That's exactly what I was looking for. So let's take a look at the code and understand what is going on here. So we know that this is where the magic happens. So whatever is showing up in my console, it has to be here. And it is indeed here. Um, we can see that there is a console dot right line and then open parentheses hello world in double quotes, close parentheses, semicolon. And that's the, the exact line that produces that hello world in my console. Okay. So let's break this down. So what is console? I can see it's actually a little green. So visual studio understand this kind of a special thing. Uh, so C sharp, uh, supports the, uh, object oriented programming paradigm. Uh, so what that means is that you can use C sharp, uh, operating kind of on the concept that everything is an object. Okay. Everything is an object and that includes the console. So the console is kind of an object as well. So in order for us to interact with the console from a programmer perspective, uh, we have to somehow invoke the console and, you know, in, in very minimalistic terms, I don't want to get too deep. Uh, into the, the, how things work under the hood here, uh, because it's just, just the first video. Um, but what's happening here is that when I write console, that means I am about to do something to this console. Okay. So console dot right line. Well, right line. I think it's kind of obvious what, what it's going to do. It's going to write a new line into the console. Uh, now if I'm giving the console an instruction to write a line, a new line, 
I have to tell the console what it is that I want to say, right? I mean, I can't, I can't just say something like, hey, console, speak. Console is going to ask, okay, I can speak, but speak what? Uh, well, you have to tell the console what to say, right? And that's what I do inside these parentheses here, right? That's why it says hello world. So whatever you type inside these parentheses will be produced onto the console, okay? Now, you notice that we have double quotes in here. So we have hello world and they are surrounded with double quotes. This is very important. And this is kind of the first thing that we have to know about C sharp or one of the first things. Uh, text is always surrounded by double quotes. Okay. So if I want to display a text, I have to make sure that this text is surrounded with double quotes. Okay. So let's change this text here. Uh, I don't want to say hello world. I want to say hello from C sharp. Yeah, that's pretty good. So again, control F5 on Windows. I'm going to run the application and there you go. Hello from C sharp. Awesome. It works. Now that's it for this video. We're going to get into more complicated stuff from now on. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.